I just rewatched Spider Man Into the Spider Verse, and it just made me realize how amazing this movie is, and how much just like more movies like this need to be made. Okay, look, nothing against the MCU. The MCU is cool and all, but it will forever be live action interpretation of a superhero comic book, whatever you want to call it. I need more animated comic book movies where passion and heart and just like love for a character is put into it do yourself a favor watch spider-man into the spider-verse watch it any way you can i don't i'm not listen i'm not telling you to pirate nothing but i'm just saying if you have to do that to watch it then do it this movie it just it's such beauty it's just so good i can't stop praising about it it's just so good it's so good and it it's it's really 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 good at communicating that it is very much a comic book movie because and and look again MCU movies are fine they're fine but they're always limited by live action and just like being set in reality I don't really like that I like more so animated that's why they're comic books cuz there's things in comic books that can happen that can't really happen with real life actors certain moves or stunts or just like you know, like movements, and I just gotta say this movie, I just I I love just I just love it because I rewatching it, you can see just like the passion. You can see that the people who made this are obviously fans of Spider Man. The people who made this care. They want they want to make a movie for the fans. They care so much, so much time and passion put into every single frame of this movie, and it's just like. Oh, it's so good. It's just so good. I can't, I can't not. Now look, look, I get it. It's not perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect. In no way, in any way should you take this that this movie is perfect. My biggest problem is the lack of use for some of the Spider-Verse characters. Penny, very underutilized. Spider-Ham, very underutilized. Spider-Man Noir, very underutilized. Of course, the main focus is Miles and uh, R. Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy. You know, <sighs> I get a little bit of hate for this, but like, okay, I get it. You know, Gwen Stacy is one of the cooler female lead roles. She is, she's pretty cool. But I do admit that this movie makes her seem a lot cooler and a lot more, how should I say this? not overpowered but a lot more just like she can't do any wrong and she very rarely gets hit i don't remember seeing her get hit once which is kind of like the wonder woman thing where it's like wonder woman's super cool but she doesn't really get beat up in uh batman v superman but in her own movie she takes a few hits so it's like i i hope if they i I believe they are making a sequel for spider-man to the spider-verse but if they are I hope that if they introduce Gwen again or who and like some other Spider Woman, that she at least can you know be in a brawl. You know, Gwen didn't really get hit, which bothers me because everyone else got pretty beat up. Uh, Penny's robot got beat up, but not Penny herself. But I, I get that because you know she's in a giant uh, robot, so I mean that makes sense. But still, this movie like it's just so good, and I love that they throw their budget in your face, like. Like, seriously, the sequence... I'm, I'm about to spoil the whole movie for you, so if, if you don't want to hear spoilers, leave now. But, the, like, the whole sequence at the end when they're trying to get everyone back to their own dimension and there's, like, the giant uh, d- device thing that's shooting that laser beam and the whole room is just lit up and there's buildings and cars flying it. Like, oh, my God, like, that movie. Give me 90 minutes of that. And I, I'm just, in, I'm in love. I'm in love with this movie. I can't, like, this movie is the best superhero movie, in my opinion. I mean, you can, again, you can have your own opinion. Make your own opinion. But this is the best. This is, like, this is what superhero movies need to be. This is very much an amazing, it's not like a ham-fisted origin story that nobody cares about is not your stereotypical maybe it's a little stereotypical origin story i will say that's another thing that isn't that great about this movie is that the plot is just like it's another kingpin just another kingpin being bad he's just like i'm kingpin and i'm bad (laughs) you know really you know eh, i'm kind of tired of seeing kingpin everywhere but that's just me (laughs) it's just like oh it's just so good i want this movie 
like the just the movement like watch the scene listen listen, listen. watch the scene where miles takes the leap of faith and he becomes spider-man where he finally accepts that he will become spider-man you know he he finally realizes that he's spider-man that leap of faith scene is just like it's it's amazing it's just so amazing as like I, I, it it brought tears to my eyes is how amazing it is this is just such a good good movie <laughs> <laughs> more people need to watch it more people need to watch it so stop watching mcu trash all right look mcu's fine but like it's such live action cheese it doesn't make any sense why have actual actors and actual suits and locations when all you do is just put cg over it just make it animated guess what like spider-man into the spider-verse where it's animated and it looks a thousand times better it's just like ugh, this movie it will stand the test of time. Those MCU movies will not stand the test of time. But this will. This just looks so good. I can't I can't get over how good it looks. Like, seriously, you just have to watch it. You just have, again, watch it any way you can. Any way at all. Just watch this movie. It's just so good. It's just so, so good. But yeah, that's what I gotta say about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. If you can't tell, I'm a really, really big fan of this movie. I think it is very good. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Check the links down below and subscribe for future rambles.